Moi! Tervetuloa kanavaleni! Minä nimeni on Mauro and today we gonna learn some Finnish, some Suomea! <laughs> Hope I pronounce everything correctly because uh, I've been learning Finnish for the past two weeks and uh, it's really difficult. Oh my god! I mean, I got this same feeling when I, was st when I started learning Chinese, you know, learning a language that you know absolutely zero about it you know that's so fucking crazy because when i learn other languages such as portuguese french you know i can always um, make some references to what i already speak english spanish or whatever italian of course <laughs> but with those languages oh my god that's crazy it's like you have to start literally from zero from the ground up so it's it's cool but scary at the same time especially trying to remember the vocabulary but yeah today we're gonna learn 10 weird but useful finnish expressions you should no, this video was recently uploaded. I don't know this channel, so big shout out to the maker. And uh, I don't know, I'm getting lots of these kind of videos in my homepage uh, since I started learning Finnish. So let's just check it out, shall we? Do you want to learn some Finnish that you can use to impress your Finnish buddies? Learn these 10 weird but useful Finnish expressions. Let's go. Let's start with the funny one, Mukin Meneva. This is Mukin a meneva. word and consists of two individual words. Mukin, mm. which means to a mug. It's the illative form of muki, which means a mug. And meneva, which, which means like going, like participle of men to go. And going so to a mug. That goes to the mug. <laughs> what does this mean? Well, it actually means something like passable, decent or okay. For example, mm. that on muki meneva. Ooh, we are learning the slang of Suomea. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. But this is a decent option. Or Aro on Mukin Meneva Mies. Aro is a decent man. This mm. next word is probably the weirdest on the list. Line Huuto Todistus. This is three <laughs> words, actually. Let's check them out. So, verse wow. is line, which means of law. Huuto, which means. So, I'm guessing because in the past I've tried to learn German as well, and they had this thing that they will um, mix some words together to create a new word. That was really crazy. That was really crazy. I used to remember that. I think uh, I'm, I'm just, I was just good at uh, remembering them, but I'm never good at constructing. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I would think. Scream. I would say, sorry. Yell, and todistus, which means certificate. So a scream certificate. of law certificate. <laughs> what the hell does this word mean? So when yeah. you buy real estate, let's say a house, you need to apply for something called title registration. So the title registration means the registration of ownership of a property to a, this uh, National Land Survey of Finland and Mortgage Register. So this, this is like a, this bureaucratic step. And this certificate that you will get is called Line Huuta Todistus, a scream of law certificate that you wow. actually own the property. Something like that. I'm not quite sure of the details, but that's... <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> That's and crazy. I can find the reason why it's called line who the tourist is. So, uh, why is this law screaming for a certificate? Who, who knows? Wow. So, <laughs> this next word for you. Valley Huolema. I don't think I can use that word with any Finnish friend. I mean, I don't have any Finnish friends, but uh, if I ever meet someone from Finland, I don't think I could ever use that. I'm too poor to buy a house, so whatever. <laughs> Another compound word. Valley Huolema. Two individual words. Valley which means Valley in between, mm. and kuolema means death. Kuolema. So death in between. What this it's like a life mean? of Actually, that situation. So let's say you're in a home party, you're having fun, uh. you're bringing some booze, meeting friends, <laughs> dancing, maybe flirting with those sexy friends out there. Awesome stuff. But then at some point you just run out of power, maybe you have the two-minute rings, and you just need to take, let's say, a power nap. So this valley kuolema is a power nap during a party. So oh! Wait, what the fuck? Is that even a fucking word for it? Oh my god. That's crazy. Wow. A power nap during a party. That's crazy. I mean, I don't have that much of a social life, so I never had to... I never took a power nap in my whole life during a party. Down the sofa for 15 <laughs> I would never use this word either. You up and then you keep on partying. <laughs> oh That's pretty fun. Language. 
best language. By the way, if you want to start learning Finnish but you're not sure where to start, check out my free Finnish for Dummies email course. Mm, that's I nice. I will check it out. This next one is one of my favorites. Pretty funny one. So you know multitasking, the English word multitasking. So you try to mm. do, do too many things at once. Yes, and you don't really that is totally me. At anything. And mm. Finnish is actually this funny variation of this. It's called multipasking. Multipasking. So again, it has two words. Multi comes from the English word multi. It means the same as in English. But pasking. Pasking is like a funny dirty <laughs> bus, which means shit. So you're multi-shitting. <laughs> so, so this is like a negative connotation of multitasking because it is usually negative because you're doing too many things mm, and you cannot yes. get anything done. So we think, especially in the business world, sometimes refer this multi-pasking. <laughs> I know it's fun. <laughs> yes, it is. This next word is definitely gonna get me to help when I teach. And I love the the freaking Dragon Ball thingy right behind you. But hey, someone has to do it. So we have the verb harrasta. Harrasta. This means to do something as a hobby or have something as a mm. hobby. For example, harrasta okay. uh, My hobby is harrastan. Harrastan lukemista. My hobby is reading. But things get Harrasta uh, opiskelia suovea, right? <laughs> My hobby is studying Finnish. Quite interesting if I ask. Is it correct? Sexia. Sexia. Sex. Sex. So let's say if I say harrastan uh. sexia. Does it mean that my sex is my hobby? <laughs> <laughs> it would, it, that would be funny, but actually it doesn't mean that. Answer is no. Ah, it yeah, of to course. Have sex. Ah, arrastan sex. We yeah. sex, we refer, we use the same word as it would be our hobby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, like, it, can it can be viewed that way. It can be viewed that way. It's something pleasant you know, to are, most people, at least. <laughs> it's, it's commonly healthy and normal and regular stuff. It's what people do. And nudity is not either uh, is not either a taboo here. And the thing is that this is not <laughs> even like a slang. Really? It's very okay, wait. Like <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> to say like harasta sexia. Harasta sexia. It could mean also that I have sex is my hobby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so good. That's pretty I'm funny though. Ones. People use this and maybe you will too. Okay, this next one is very interesting because it, this is such a regular thing, but we actually rarely think what this actually means. It's mita kuulu. Mita kuulu. Oh, mita kuulu. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, are you okay, right? Kuulu. How are you? So if you want to oh, ask how are you? how are they, you can just say, yes. hey, mita kuulu. But do you know what this... Yeah, that, that's kind of weird because in Italian, kuulu means as kuulu. <laughs> so yeah, I make that uh, that connection to remember that word. Okay, come on. <laughs> I'm a little bit naughty, but that's helping me with Finnish. It literally means. This is actually an intransitive Kulua. word, which means that it doesn't have like direct object, but it means to be heard. Let me give oh, you okay. examples. If I say... Well, if you fart, you, if you fart, you're heard, you know, from your ass. <laughs> just a kuulu, and it, this means something like... You can hear the sounds from the forest, mm, or sounds okay. are heard from the forest. That's pretty cool. So if we ask someone mita kulu, we're actually asking like, what are they hearing? What are ah, they it's hearing? okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's actually mm. quite an interesting way to ask someone how are they doing, but that's. Yeah, I mean, I think in every language it's kind of like that, right? Like in Italian, you will say come va. That would literally translate that. Uh, how are you going? Like, where, where the fuck are you going? I mean, <laughs> how are you going where, you know? <laughs> or uh, I think in uh, in Chinese, in Chinese you will say like, uh, ni hao ma. That's like, uh, ha, like to say, hello. Hello? There's a question. Hello? <laughs> so, ni chu fan la ma? Have you had your dinner, eaten your meal, or whatever? So, I think in most languages it's kind of weird the way you you will ask how are you. So, it's not only to the to the Finnish language oh, this peculiarity. Of course, of course, of course, there are, of course, there are some <laughs> other ways to ask how are you, but this is one very bread and butter way. This next one is again very funny. Uh, if someone gets too cocky or arrogant, you can definitely use this phrase. And that is, you know, nousta kusi päähän. Three words. Mm. So nousta is to like to get up or to rise. Again, an intransitive word. Kusi is kusi like really. Piss. Oh, piss. And <laughs> means to the head. And it's the illative form of pää, like, which means head. This means that to get piss headed or the piss gets in their head. Practical language, this means to get <laughs> arrogant. For example, if we say, yes, sellä nousi kusi päähän. 
Jesse mm. nousi kusi päähän, niin sitten, Jesse got too arrogant. Or Jesse got arrogant, and we can also say. And you can definitely use this with your buddies, maybe a little bit like slang or like this casual environment, but not with your teachers. <laughs> again, a very funny word on the list. And again, let's say if you're partying, and maybe things escalate a little bit, you... The fuck? Do you Finnish people is always partying? What the hell? Is Finnish people really in love with partying? What the hell? That's crazy. I mean, the last time I've partied, I cannot even remember the last time I've partied. What the fuck? Oh my God. I'm too old. Maybe played music too loud and the police came and they told you to go home. Damn, so that's crazy. You guys are wild. It's called Lähtiä Lapasesta. Lähtiä Lapasesta. This has two words. Again, Lähtiä means to go or to mm. leave or could also mean. And Lapasesta means from a from meeting. A meeting. <laughs> form of meeting. We don't say we it, things got out of hand. We could actually say... Oh, also that okay, 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 okay. Mm. We say things got out of a meeting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. For example, if I say bileet lähti lapasesta, bileet lähti lapasesta, the party got out of hand, but literally it would mean the party got out of mitten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, double the TF, welcome to Finland. This next one is brilliant. Uh, when things go as planned, you can use this phrase or you succeed in something. Say, mennä nappiin. Mennä nappiin. There's two words, mennä okay. again to go. And not being means like to the button. To the button. Why there are too many to go not words? Not be means like button. So difficult to remember. So like a shirt button or just like mm. any button you push. So what does this mean? It means that something went well. For example, then the many not being. Then the many oh, okay. exam went well. If something goes well, we just say it went to the button. I don't know why we say this. <laughs> could be some it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I just okay. couldn't find it, but we use this all the time. Men and not being. You can start using this as well. This next one is like a little bit unfortunate one. Let me give you a quick example story. Let's say there's a Finn who wants to leave for the US and conquer the world. Maybe they have a huge startup idea or whatever. But then things go south. They don't succeed. They come back home. Uh, we can, for example, call this person again, Jesse. Then we can say, Palata kotiin maitojunalla. Literally, Kotiin his house, right? Home by the, yes. by the milk train. So, palata. By the milk train, <laughs> what the hell? Kotiin means the home, and maitojunalla means like by the milk train. This Odessi. What is a milk train? If things don't go well and you have to come back home to your home country or your home city, maybe to your parents' place, ah, say, okay, okay, come okay. home by the milk train. And I think this word origins from the war times when some soldiers were sent to the some special units, but they maybe they didn't succeed and they were sent back mm. to the uh, basic unit. At to and during those times, they had to take this milk train that stopped at these smaller places and to get home. <laughs> Something like that. But this is a negative connotation. So if someone comes back with the milk train, it means that something didn't go as planned. Ah, uh, okay, it's okay, Finnish is actually one of the easiest languages out there. I made a video about this topic. Find out more about Wow, that's crazy. I really like this channel. I'm gonna subscribe right now and uh, leave a like to the video of Alexi. Alexi, wow. So guys, let me know what do you think about this type of reactions. If you want me to check out more videos to learn something unique about uh, the Finnish language. I mean, I would watch it either way. So if you want me to watch it with you and post it in the channel, that's cool. Otherwise, I'm going to watch it alone. So I just want to know your opinion. So leave a comment, leave a like as well. I wish you all a lovely night and I'll see you next time. Nakevin!